Hello again. My name is David Shaw, and if you're taking this course in sequence, this overview is part two, after the introduction, of how to implement a cloud center of excellence. If you need more in-depth information than we can present in video, please see the full online course at cloudgovcode.com programs. A cloud center of excellence is a cross-functional group in an organization developing cloud strategy, governing the usage of the cloud, and delivering best practices in financial management, cloud operations, and security and compliance. In this section, you will cover an overview of a cloud center of excellence, including its definition, mission, purpose, who are the stakeholders, reference frameworks, and the maturity level of your cloud operations. A Cloud Center of Excellence is a team that provides leadership, best practices, research, support, and or training for cloud computing. This is important because enterprises face a set of common challenges in adopting the cloud as a way of business. These include loss of control, staying ahead of security risks, and climbing cloud bills. A mission statement is a short statement of why an organization exists, what its overall goal is, identifying the goal of its operations, what kind of product or service it provides, its primary customers or market, and its geographical region of operation. A mission statement for a cloud center of excellence might be about meeting the desired outcome of the customer. For example, the mission of the Cloud Center of Excellence is to empower our development teams to deliver awesome and timely digital experiences for our customers with agility and confidence. The purpose of a Cloud Center of Excellence is to accelerate cloud adoption in your organization through cloud strategy, financial management, cloud operations, and security and compliance. Cloud strategy includes developing a cloud roadmap, aligning cloud offerings to the larger organizational strategy, overseeing cloud usage and plans to scale, and driving momentum across the organization. Cloud strategy also includes developing reusable frameworks for cloud governance, monitoring cloud maturity, and managing the cloud lifecycle. Financial management includes financial feasibility using measures like return on investment, and total cost of ownership. To enable this, it will use tagging strategies for accountability and showback chargeback for cloud services. Financial management also includes taking responsibility for continuous cost op optimization, including data lifecycle management to use the most cost-effective data storage. Cloud operations includes technical feasibility, managing cloud knowledge and learning, and managing infrastructure as code. It also includes test-driven development. By this we mean continuous implementation and continuous delivery, using automated software development pipelines, and also cloud orchestration and management. Security and compliance includes privacy impact assessments, compliance with privacy regulations like the GDPR, and data and records management. It should also include vendor security assessments, vulnerability testing, and compliance with security standards such as SOC 2, ISO 27001, NIST 800, and the CCA Cloud Controls Matrix. A Cloud Center of Excellence is a cross-functional or a matrix team representing several disciplines. The primary stakeholders in any organization are the usual culprits. However, the cloud team and services broker need further explanation, which we will give shortly. Be aware that the multiplicity of enterprise shareholders can create process bottlenecks. The best practices in a cloud center of excellence should be based on industry cloud frameworks. As a minimum, the cloud team should be familiar with the cloud shared responsibility model and deployment models like SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS. In particular, you will find useful the Google Cloud Adoption Framework and Site Reliability Engineering. AWS has its Cloud Adoption Framework and Well-Architected Framework. 
while Microsoft has its own cloud adoption framework. You should also be familiar with the CSA Cloud Controls matrix. Before establishing a cloud center of excellence, determine your baseline cloud capability maturity level on a scale of 1 to 5. The results of higher maturity are straightforward. They include faster performance of processes and reduced cost in the performance of those processes. You can develop your own capability maturity levels for the cloud, but here are some general benchmarks. Key level 5 characteristics are hybrid private cloud management, continuous cost optimization, an established center of excellence, and managed security from the local network to the VPC subnet in the cloud. You can find specific benchmarks and more details in the online course. This is the end of the overview of a cloud center of excellence. In this module we cover the definition of a center of excellence, its mission to empower development teams, its purpose to accelerate cloud adoption, the primary stakeholders, important industry frameworks, and the need to benchmark cloud maturity. If you're following this series in sequence, the next module covers how to form a cloud center of excellence. For more information, see our website at cloudgovco.com.